Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm going into a bit of a food coma. I think I've got a problem. Yeah, I've got a problem. Cheers, Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> we are here in Koh Lanta. It's Christmas morning, feeling pretty festive. We're staying in this resort that's way too nice for us. We've been served breakfast this morning. Well, it's been paid for by Martha's parents, so Thanks thank you, Helen and Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell! <laughs> hey, Jim Mitch. Well, yeah, all we're doing is recording today. It's like a video memory of our Christmas day here in Koh Lanta our favourite island so far. Yeah, we're just gonna literally just raw vlog, like a camcorder vlog that we just wanna be able to have as a memory. So we're hopefully able to show kids in the future and also to be able to show everyone at home what we did. Yeah. So I'm Should excited. Should be fun, yeah. yeah. The first place that we're gonna go to is our favourite beach that we found so far on the island. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I think we're gonna head there first and just chill. It's basically just gonna be a day of beach hopping. We haven't really got a plan. We're just gonna go with the flow, whatever we feel like doing and just eating food because what better day to eat loads of food than Christmas. And I am determined to wear these Christmas hats as much as possible today. <laughs> I think that might have been quite possibly the most cutest thing that I've ever seen. It wasn't that cute. It was. Just I'm sitting. awkward enough with kids that I can speak to, never mind that I don't even speak their language. Yeah. <laughs> kids just seem to love you. I've just been sat taking a few photos and just watching you two try and communicate. She doesn't speak a word of English, I don't speak a word of Thai, so all you can do is smile. <laughs> but I think, that, I think that's the most humbling part about it with kids, is that you don't need to communicate and say many things. You, you were just having fun. Yeah. Simple. Look at this. <laughs> so I was able to choose where we had lunch today as Mitch chose where we're going for dinner. So I chose this place because their acai bowls look amazing. But they've just brought around free cake and saying Merry Christmas. And it's decorated really nice in here. The menu is amazing. I've gone for a chai latte as well, which I've just been wanting since we left home. So yeah, this is great. Can we eat this before we have food? Yeah, come on. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry. If anyone knows me, you know how much I love like festive drinks. And I, we left and weren't able to get festive drinks like Halloween season, the chai, the pumpkin. They're just my favorite type of drinks. And this is an iced chai latte. Horrible. It's just full of like cinnamon and spices. You, you will literally hate it. That tastes like I'm eating one of them oranges that you stick all them sticks into. What a Chris Dingle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's strong with the um, the chai spices, but that's so good. That's really weird. I don't know if you'll like that. I'll try oh. it. It's really creamy, and you don't like stuff that's mega creamy. Oh yeah, it's good, like it's not bad tasting, but yeah you're right, like I just don't choose like cream desserts, like I was never a Yule Log kind of gal, so if anyone's having a Yule Log, I wouldn't be eating it, or prefer rolls. This is one of the best Christmas treats that I've had. 
I've gone for mac and cheese and it looks very very nice. It's funny because I think I've gone for like the healthiest thing I've ever eaten on Christmas ever like and usually we having chocolate for breakfast on Christmas but here I'm having like a health food bowl and then you've gone for like the closest thing to like Christmassy you can get yeah. with like just cheese and bacon. Going into a bit of a food coma. Our bodies are not going to know what's here. Mitch can speak for himself. I feel great. I'd love a main course now. I could eat some ice cream. Oh. Maybe we'll try and find some ice cream. Cheers. Mm. It's melting so quick. I know. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to so eat hot. this. <laughs> we thought it was best to come back for a bit. We've just had that ice cream and the sun is so strong on the beach. I'm feeling a little bit a little bit tight, a bit sore. So I feel like I need to um, stay out of the sun and yeah, have a have a little bit of time in the room. Gonna have a shower. Got to speak to some family because it's now just the morning back at home. We've actually ended up being in the room for like over an hour and a half now at this point. I've just started to get myself ready as we're gonna call Mitchell's family and then straight after the call we're gonna head out for sunset before our reservation tonight. So I've just wet my hair <laughs> and also just got back into my basic staple dress that I think has been shown on pretty much every time we've gone out since we've been away. It's been my like going out dress and this dress I actually bought in Australia back in 2019 when we were there. I wore this on Christmas Eve. Still not ready for some food yet but we've got a good while. <laughs> Gotta make sure that we have enough room for lots of food because I'm very excited. And oh actually I'll tell you about this. I've got a little bracelet on it's got a little shell on it and it's got two little jingle bells <laughs> on the clasp and last night we actually went to a Christmas Eve party at a bar on the beach. We'd seen an um, advertisement for it since we came to the island so we thought we'd go check it out and they had like a fire show, fireworks, Christmas tree, live band, uh, what else did they have? Was that it? It was just, there was a lot going on. It was actually a lot of fun. We were able to get some good seats too. So we were just able to sit there for the night. And oh yeah, Santa came. Santa came for the kids, which was just so hilarious because he didn't even have his beard on. It was just like hanging down his neck. It was so funny. And he came and he was giving out loads of gifts to the kids. Like the kids were like vultures <laughs> trying to get presents off him. And as Mitch was trying to get some um, photos, one of the kids, I think it was a little lad, actually gave Mitch that bracelet because he'd obviously been given it by Santa and didn't want it. So Mitch gave it to me. So I've got it on my, got it on my wrist, little jingle bells. But it was actually, yeah, a really good night. I'm really happy that we did that last night. We finished up with the calls and we're trying to make it to sunset. We're gonna try and pick up some beers and hopefully we haven't missed it. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Cheers, Cheers, darling. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How did you guys spend your Christmas? We'd love to know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Because this won't be, like, unusual to some people, us yeah. being away. Like, yeah, like, so half, of the, half of the world probably spends Christmas like this. Like, with diff like away from... Oh, I thought you meant, like, in the sun. Like, no, I mean, you know. like... Away from family. Away, yeah. yeah. Away from family and friends and has been weird, not gonna lie to you. Hasn't felt like Christmas. Tried not to dwell on it too much because I do love Christmas. Really? And, <laughs> and this is great. It's different, but I still miss the usual traditions. Yeah. Let us know how your Christmas has been. Christmas dinner of choice is Indian because we do love a curry and we've been craving one ever since we left home so 
now we're gonna just stuff our faces with Indian food. We've just been given some recommendations and I think these for free, you said Merry Christmas, and they're like mashed potato patties with mozzarella cheese inside as a starter. We've just ordered, yeah, two, two starters? Yeah. Two mains, two naan breads, we've just gone all out. I don't even know if we'll be able to eat it all, but very different Christmas dinner. But I'm very excited. We've not had an Indian curry since we left home. Oh, I love Indian food. <laughs> oh no, I think they've got pepper in them. Pepperdoms. <laughs> Pepperdoms. Oh yeah, nice. Like, oh. I think they're the best looking naan breads I've ever had. They look amazing. Wow. So full. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, I was tickling his feet so she knew where he was. <laughs> the plain hide and seek is trying to hide under the table. <laughs> Martha's hit this stage of regret for eating so much food. No. You've just said where have you put it? You've just had the same amount of food as me. Yeah, because it's impressive. I don't know where it goes. I think I even probably ate more than you because I finished off the rice. I need to I need to put back. <laughs> I could probably eat more now though, that's the thing. I have like a bottomless pit. My New Year's resolution is to eat less food. Marth is like 52 kilos and I reckon she could eat more food than me but every time that she eats a lot of food she starts feeling guilty about it I used to be less than 52 kilos <laughs> <laughs> but yeah probably this diet yeah it's quite impressive I don't know are you seeing it as an impressive thing yeah it's impressive I think I've got a problem you have got a problem. Yeah, does anyone else eat like as if it's their last meal? Because I do that with every meal. <laughs> I eat like it's my last. And I can't remember many times that, I mean, we've been together, what, seven years? Mm. Can you remember many times that I've not finished my food on my plate? No, when you finish your food, you'll just start eating other things that are I around. know. Even if there's like, there was like shredded carrot earlier from one of the starters and I was eating that because it was just in front of me. <laughs> Even like if it was a Christmas dinner today now, every roast dinner, my dad would always persuade me to go for seconds. He'd be like, go on, you can go for seconds. And I would. I'd make myself like so full that I felt sick. And I'd do that today if it was a Christmas dinner. It's terrible, Mark. You should do it. I know. So it's going to be my New Year's resolution. Eat normal female por portions. It will last one day. Is it bad though? No. It's not bad at all. If you can eat it and not put a load of weight on, why wouldn't you eat it? <laughs> oh my gosh, that food was just incredible but it has caught with me and Mitch. I've had too much. You came and dozed. Yeah. That's what Christmas is all about. Mm, no, it's not. It is. No, it's been a really fun day. We decided to come back after eating that food. What time was it now? Like half eight, quarter to nine? No, it's 10 past nine. Oh, 10 past nine. So it's not, it's not um, early to come back. But after eating that much food, you just can't, you can't put anything else in there, can you? No, I couldn't eat another thing, no. No, or drink another thing. It's been a really good day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a chilled day, but it's exactly what we wanted to do, wasn't it, for Christmas? Yeah, exactly. And we kind of didn't put any pressure on how the day was going to go. We just kind of gone with what we thought and treated it as a normal day, but just had some fun treats like, yeah. in it, which I think has just been really nice. And definitely a Christmas to remember. Mm. Not our traditional Christmas, 
but yeah i hope that they've enjoyed watching it yeah (laughs) (laughs) it's probably boring yeah it probably is but i think it was more for our memories and being able to look back yeah and hopefully they did enjoy spending christmas with us yeah what you spend christmas with us if you did enjoy spending our christmas day with us please make sure to give us a like and subscribe because we've got yeah a couple of other videos in the pipeline and one that we're really excited to share with you of this island already if you made it this far thank you merry christmas yeah merry christmas if you celebrate yeah happy holidays and all that (laughs) we'll see you soon bye